there's always a lot of interest in innovation, uh, advancing, creating new products, new technologies, manufacturing technologies, to be able to beat your competition and have an edge. But what is the, the core of innovation? It's not something that's for a select few. It doesn't have to be done in a vacuum. It, it's, it's not uh, uh, something that has to be that magical. Um, and yet, how many people really feel that they're all I as innovative as they'd like to be? Well, there's a, a concept um, and a, an approach to innovation, and it's uh, the acronym is T-R-I-Z, uh, pronounced TREES. And it stands for the theory of inventive problem solving, and it actually originated in Russia. And I've studied it kind of off and on at various levels for probably on the order of 20 years at this point. Um, and the three main things that it, it has in it, and I'm not going to try and teach you trees, uh, but what I'm going to give you is some of the ideas behind it. And the first thing is it looks for is the contradictions in a problem, because the, the, pr the solution falls within those contradictions. And if you can identify the proper contradictions, the key contradictions, then you're going to have the majority of your, your problems solved. If it's just the random brainstorming uh, without those contradictions in place, you're going to um, potentially have a lot of ideas outside of the boundaries of, of what's, what's acceptable. Uh, the other thing that TREES does um, in the details is it understands the principles behind innovation and uh, the innovative process. And so it looks at those, those, those principles um, and, uh, and it physically lists them. And you can see which one of those principles applies to that set of contradictions you have in the situation that you have. Um, reviewing the principles um, is one step. The other one is what parameters uh, can be involved uh, to affect those some of those principles. Uh, and again, similar to the principles, there's a list of parameters. Um, and again, which one of those things do you really have to play with? And you'll find that there's actually more than one uh, that you can. And I think this fits in the new product development space that I'm primarily talking about in this video, but it also fits in the, um, in the world of uh, sports, and specifically my basketball coaching. Your contradiction may be that you have a, a team that's not blessed with a lot of height. Uh, what are some of the principles of the game that you can use uh, to take advantage of the conditions that you do have against the opponents you may be facing? And then what parameters within that? Um, yeah, again, breaking it down a little bit deeper, uh, you know, or at least looking at it from another angle, what can you do either offensive system-wise or uh, technique-wise uh, to take advantage of things and you can kind of blend those two together get a unique situation that you're comfortable with and will work for your team. So again whether it's basketball or it's new product development the, the old high level concepts of trees can really come in handy uh, for creating those innovative breakthroughs uh, in, in making things happen for you. If you want help with your innovation, if you want to help in executing so you get something actually in market, give us a call here at Prairie Solutions. We'd love to help you do that.